Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about the brand new Beautylish and Chikahoto collab. They have created a Sakura collection brush set. It is a three piece travel brush set and I cannot wait to show you guys this set. It is absolutely beautiful. So last week there was a little bit of a false alarm. These brushes were supposed to be available and live on their site, I believe last Tuesday or Wednesday and um, the shipment of these brushes were a little bit delayed so anyway they are now live on the Beautylish site they were live at 10 a.m. Pacific time and I know these are limited edition and I know they have just a small quantity of these so I wanted to get this video up for you guys when these brushes went live so that you had something to reference and see if these were brushes that you needed to have in your life. So here's the box that they come in, a nice beautiful square cardboard box with the Beautylish Chikahoto printed on there and the beautiful artwork on the side, which uh, you'll see also on the handles of these brushes. And then inside these brushes are packaged beautifully. There's a powder brush, a cheek brush, and a shadow brush. And Beautylish was so generous in sending me these brushes to review for you guys. This is not a sponsored video. They merely gifted me these brushes so that I could review them for you guys. But they included a little card that says, Hi, Michelle. Hope you enjoy the new Beautylish Chikahoto Sakura Maki Travel Set. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Love the Beautylish team. So thank you very, very much to Beautylish for sending these over to me. I was, as you guys can imagine, beyond thrilled when this box showed up. I was like, what is happening? So thank you very, very much to the Beautylish team. Also inside this brush set, there's like a little information from Chikahoto in here, uh, just talking about Chikahoto the company, how these are brushes that are handmade in Japan. And then there's like application tips for all the different brushes. So powder brush, cheek brush, and eyeshadow brush. It looks like there's more information than what brushes are actually included. But let's go ahead and get into like the design of these brushes. So these are travel brushes, which are not like your typical like Chikahoto brushes. This is basically what you'll see when you open up the brush. The size of this powder brush actually reminds me of like a travel uh, perfume atomizer. <laughs> that's, that's like the size of this, maybe a little bit uh, fatter. So what we have here basically is two pieces. We have have this cap which also will double as the handle and then we have the actual brush which is the gold part so to work all of these brushes what you do is you just pull them apart and you flip the brush around and then you can go ahead and slide the handle onto the brush now what that does is it moves this like little gold knob and what that does is it pushes the brush up so now you basically have like a full size brush and I love, love this design when it comes to travel brushes because I have a couple travel brush sets and basically they're the regular brush, but then it has like this teeny tiny handle and that's what makes it like a travel brush. I can't stand that. I don't like little tiny handles on my brushes. I really like having a full handle. That's just my personal preference, but that's how you work it. And then to close it back up, you simply take them apart. You move the gold button back down to retract the brush and then just replace the handle, which is now a cap. And that's it. And that's how all three of the brushes work. So I'm gonna demo all these brushes. I do have a full face of makeup on. I've, I've been pre-filming. Anyway, um, I am gonna demo these brushes, but just so you know, I do already have a full face of makeup on. So included in this set is a powder brush, a cheek brush, and a shadow brush. So let's go through all of them. The powder brush is the one that I just demoed for you. So this is the largest brush out of the three. And all of the brushes are made out of, I believe, predominantly gray squirrel hair. So these are very, very soft brushes. Brushes. They are natural hair, so if you're not into that, these brushes will not be for you. So I've used these brushes like three or four times at this point, all three of them, and I haven't had one hair shed out of these brushes. And that's, that. I mean, even for handmade um, Japanese brushes, I'll usually get like one or two, but I haven't had any shedding at all. So I wanted to point that out. Here is the powder brush, and let me just hold it up next to uh, the powder brush that I probably use the most, which is the Chikahoto Z1 brush, and that is this guy. So it is a little bit smaller, which is to be expected for a travel brush set, but it works beautifully. So I'm going to go ahead and just powder a little bit so you guys can see this brush in action. So I just put some Kogendo natural lighting powder on the brush. It has a really, really nice, light, airy feel to it. And do you see how the the hairs just glide across the face? Oh my god, it's so soft. It's very, very minky feeling. Beautiful. So when I use these brushes, I don't know if you guys can hear that, there's just like a little jiggling, and that's just this gold like lever 
because this moves up and down and because this is the only thing that's kind of keeping it up there's going to be like like very little jiggling as long as you push this handle or cap um, onto the brush part as far as you can it's fine like the jiggling is not bothersome to me and this is on very snugly i don't feel like i'm preoccupied with the idea that this is going to fall off like it doesn't feel that way it feels very very secure so that is the powder brush and then next we have the cheek brush you can see this is so much more petite and this is about the same size as a lipstick so that's how petite this is. So this brush set is really marketed to be like a travel brush set, which I think is probably how I'm gonna use it mostly. But this is great for every day. If you just wanna throw kind of like a multi-purpose brush into your makeup bag every day, this is perfect. The size of a lipstick, and let me just show you this actual brush. And this size is great. It's a little bit small for powder, but you could definitely use it for powder. It's great for any touch-up, highlight, blush, bronzer. So I love this brush. This one is great, great, great for travel and for every day. I think this is the great throw into your purse kind of brush. But let me go ahead and apply some uh, blush with this brush so you can see this in action. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier palette here and I'm going to pick up some of the peach blush up here. So just like the powder brush, it's so, so soft, so minky. These squirrel hairs are just Oh, they're so smooth. They're so silky. So you get a really nice, like, soft application. Of course, you can build that up however far you want. So that is the cheek brush. Oh, let me hold it up next to the Surratt cheek brush. So it's fairly, it's fairly comparable. It's not quite as long and bulbous as the Surratt, but there they are next to one another. So you can get a sense of the size and the shape of this cheek brush. And then last but not least, we have the shadow brush. Now the shadow brush is a flat kind of shader brush. This one really is great to lay down product and to also get into the smaller areas. And if you wanted to use shadow to line, you could use it to kind of like create a soft line underneath your eye or whatever. So this brush definitely is more versatile than like a blending brush per se. So anyway, basically what I'm trying to say is while I feel like this travel brush set covers most of the bases, for eyes, it wouldn't cover all the bases. I would definitely have to kind of bring a blender brush. But if I could only bring one eye brush, then I would definitely bring one that's like a little bit flatter and pinched like this one. So I think this was a good choice for them to go with in terms of this set. So I do have eyeshadow on, but I figure I can always add like a little bit of a darker color to the outer corner here. So I'm just gonna use my Chanel Le Beige 9 pan here, and I'm gonna use the darkest brown up here. So I'm just going to dip that in and then apply. Hopefully seeing these brushes in action are kind of giving you a good idea of whether or not you feel these brushes are for you, but they are incredibly soft. This brush uh, versus the other two obviously is a little bit stiffer than the cheek or the powder brush for obvious reasons. The, the hairs are much, much shorter and for eyeshadow you need a lot more control. So this brush is great. Just, you know, lay down some color, do some soft blending here. The good thing about using a uh, squirrel hair for eyeshadow is that it lays down color really, really softly. I'm not saying like patchy or lightly, but just in a really kind of soft, almost airbrushed kind of way. So that's how the shadow brush laid down the dark brown on the outer corners there. Very nice, very lovely. And let me just go ahead and hold this up next to a comparable brush so you can get a sense of the size of this. Let me hold it up next to the Sony G Builder Pro brush. So you can see it's a little bit more narrow. The bristles are a little bit shorter and has less of a rounded shape at the top. And then here's my Chikahoto GSN 9 brush. So you can see it's kind of like a mini version of this GSN 9. I don't think the hairs are quite as soft as the GSN 9. So the shape is similar. Again, it's a little bit smaller than the GSN 9 and the hairs are a little bit softer in the GSN 9. So I do want to mention that I would not recommend using any of these brushes with a liquid or cream product. Squirrel hair, I feel like is just, it's too delicate for that. You really run the risk of breaking uh, the hairs if you use them with liquid or cream products. So I would definitely just stick with powder products when it comes to this set. And that's it. I will have a link to these brushes down below in my description box. I hope you found that helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. I will definitely try and answer them. The Beautylish team is amazing. So if you have any very specific questions about these brushes, definitely contact them. They will get right back to you. They have never, ever left me hanging. They always, always respond to my many, many emails. And subscribe before you leave. I would love that. And I'll see you in my next video.